going to show you specifically for your area, uh, for your area specifically, Mark. What we're talking about is working with a seller that is not affected by door knocking, cold calling, and mailing, and that won't go on the internet. So what am I negating? What am I cutting out, right? I'm eliminating real estate agents and investors who are using traditional forms of marketing, and I'm eliminating, at the end of the day, I'm eliminating the internet angle. There is only one type of seller that meets that profile for you to get that listing. And I'm going to show it to you. And I'm going to show it specifically to Mark because he participated. I'm going to work with default. This is what I teach. I work specifically, my listings specifically come from defaulted homeowners, period. People, this is a truism about real estate. I've been in real estate since 1988, okay? Uh, oh, Joe, since Zillow connect with their investors, I imagine the pricing will be lower than normal pricing. This doesn't do justice for the seller, don't you? I agree, but what do you, it, it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, to me, it's just an inventory issue. I just see it as a swimming pool. I literally, I see marketing as a number, Joe. Okay, if that makes sense. To me, it's if you keep removing the number of sellers, you're making it more and more difficult for me to get a listing. I've been doing real estate since 88. The, it's a competitive advantage. Like everything you're being told about marketing and fairness, right? It's just about competitive and fair. As a realtor, you're paying into NAR, right? So NAR gets out of the game and they sell realtor.com to Fo uh, to what's his name? Uh, Fox News, right? They they sell the entire website because they get offered five hundred million dollars for it or some crazy amount of money. You don't think that Realtor.com, which is now a private company, isn't going to try to take a piece of this action next? It's it's an unfair competitive advantage. You know, I'm sure if you've been in real estate as long as me, you've heard everybody toy with the concept of I'm not going to be a part of the board. I'm not going to pay my fees into this. I'm not going to be a part of the MLS. I don't need these things. We don't. I mean, Rex is ultimately proving that out. They can spend the money and create their own MLS system and call it the Rex system. Now Zillow is going to do it. It's just a competitive advantage. That's it. I just want a fair shot at getting a listing. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Where do I have to go to get a listing? Because in today's market, I don't think it's about buyers. I think we can all agree there's a metric crap ton of buyers, right? But the pricing is so out of whack that we can't sell them anything, right? So I get stuck with, uh, I get stuck in these situations where I can't physically get them into what I want. So the only way you're going to have an advantage is to one, specifically work with sellers, right? I've got to specifically work with sellers. Number two, I've got to accept what the market conditions are and what the game really is. And I know this because I teach real estate agents. I go out and physically get listings every day. Got another listing three days ago. I'm going to show you that method. And I'm really passionate about this. Uh, I coach 700 coaching students. What I'm about to tell you are truisms of real estate. They are basics. They are very simple, straightforward principles. As long as I've been in real estate, I can assure you of one thing, okay? As long as there are people who are making payments on property, there will be people who don't make payments on property. Hold on. Okay. Multitasking. I'm not using my regular computer since I poured coffee into my mainline computer. Rough morning. So, Mark. And Joe, tell me what area you're in. I will show you. I will prove it to you, um, and I can prove it to you. Defaulted people, uh, I'm a former banker. Worked for Andy Mac Bank. I'll get into all that later on. I'm doing this because you guys showed up on time. Everybody else shows up late to the webinar. I can tell you by numbers. They show up 15 to 20 minutes after it starts because they think the first 15 to 20 minutes are crap. Um, I try not to do that for the people who show up on time. Okay? So here's the thing. Uh, as a former banker, I can tell you people who miss payments don't answer the door. This happened on an appointment the other day. They hide behind their chair. Like they really literally believe that they 
can hide from their problems. They don't look at their mail, they're not answering their phone, and they don't go online. They don't want to know. They want to believe that either the bank's not going to really foreclose on them or that they're going to get some kind of magical loan modification because they're entitled to it, that the banks don't actually want to foreclose. And that's a carryover from an economic crash that ended literally a year ago. Like the bank stopped doing that stuff uh, January 1st of this year. Okay, we're eight months past that point. And I'm going to prove it out right now with Mark's area, Northridge, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, is, and there are basically three companies. We're in Southern California, for those of you who don't know. I'm in LA as well. Um, we can't get title information, which would be great, but I can't. So you can use Realty Track, you can use Property Radar, you can use Foreclosure Radar, you can use uh, Rebo Gateway. Uh, I'm using Realty Track for my search just because I've done most of my, uh, I do all my webinars this way. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, identify Northridge specifically. It's California. It's LA County. And there it is. That's the city I'm going to work on. The first thing I want to know is, has anybody been foreclosed upon? So my statement to you, Mark, right? Real simple. Uh, is this. Are people getting foreclosed upon in this lovely city of Northridge? I actually know this. Uh, so I'm looking for properties that are currently bank owned in the area. Okay. And I'm going to hit the calculate button over here on the right side. You will see a little red. There are 30 people currently that are in bank owned houses in the city of Northridge. That's 30 listings. Mark didn't get simple as that. So the question is if there have been, there are 30 currently in the bank's name, what I want to know are those, are there any that have a notice of sale and a notice of, or a notice of default? Okay, I need a sale date or an auction date or a notice of default. All I need are 36 to do the marketing that I want to teach you guys today. Hit the calculate button. Now here's this 91, plenty. Jeez, that's a lot. You got your work cut out for you. That's about three weeks of marketing, by the way. Okay, I, we only recommend to do about 36 per week because it's going to generate about three appointments. So here's the statistical fact. Um, 70, close to 80 of these people, it's about 72 to be between 72 and 80 of these people, right? Somewhere in that range are actually going to get foreclosed upon. So what I've seen, because I do this webinar and I actually coach students doing this, I've seen an uptick in foreclosure activity on notice of defaults and auction dates. And I can prove out in an area that people are actually getting foreclosed upon. It's not people getting them postponed. It's not people getting them delayed. Okay, people are literally getting foreclosed upon right now. So there are people who are losing equity that are no longer underwater. There are people who just don't know any better who think that the banks are going to give them a loan modification and they're going to get out from underneath. Uh, I'm just telling you how it is in, in this situation, Mark. I would, if I knew that, let's just go with the loan number of 72 out of 91 people, right? About 80%, which is what it is. Um, if I knew that 72 of these people were actually going to be foreclosed upon over the next period of months, it would seem logical to do marketing to these people and to introduce myself and present them with their alternatives to foreclosure. Does this seem logical to everybody? And we can just play a numbers game here, okay? I'll even go even more basic. You don't even need to know about foreclosure processing. You don't need to know about loan mods. You just need to be likable and trustable, okay? Likable, we've done studies on this. All homeowners in this situation seem to care about is being likable. Just that simple, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about for the next 25 minutes, how to take these 91 people and put you in front of them. Make sense? Everybody good?
Show of hands. Everybody still alive? Is this all still working for everybody? All right, good. Troy's good. Mark's good. Uh, was that good for you, Mark? Did that make sense? Understand, these 91 are going to hide behind chairs. They don't answer the door. They're fantastic. They are literally the ideal client. They are, in my universe, the ideal individual. Uh, let me see. I so don't like having this. Okay, good. All right. All right, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Keep hoping for the best. So I'm going to show you the three steps that I do personally to get face-to-face -face with people just like that in that situation. Understand, it's really simple. It's really straightforward. And much like my real estate agent, Randy Kishore, who moved from Fresno into Orange County, he had a supernatural, life-changing uh, three weeks and getting three listings and over $75,000 in commission in less than a month based on the exact same data that I laid out for you. For all of you that have joined the call, for all of you that are here, hi, my name's Lee Hanish. I've been in real estate and banking since 1988. I've been a realtor. I've been an investor. I've worked for banks. In 2007, I taught people how to do short sales. 2010, I created marketing for myself called Monster Marketing. I started teaching it to real estate students uh, around that time. I am now celebrating over seven years and over 700 coaching students. And I can tell you this, you can go online and find positive reviews. And if you look hard enough, I'm sure you can find uh, a couple of negative reviews. Uh, those people are out there. I'm proud of the work that I put in. I'm proud of the results that I get. And I'm telling you, all you need to do is be likable and trustable. That's all people care about. They don't care how good your script reading ability is. They don't care about your expertise. None of that stuff comes into play. Everything we've been taught about being polished and overcoming objections is complete BS. Going to the front door and being a likable, trustable source of information to a homeowner who is selling is the number one way to get a listing. It really, that's all it is. We all know someone who's lost a listing because it went to a family friend or a family member. Why? Because they like that person and trust that person more than you. That's what it means when that happens. Okay. So today we're going to apply that information and I'm going to share information that my real estate uh, coaching students uh, wanted me to share with you. I took, uh, uh, I took some uh, quotes from one of my uh, masterminds and they wanted me to share with you that it is possible for any of you to start getting listings this week with this method. It's not months and months of work. It's not a big backfill. We've identified those 91 people, right? We're going to get you guaranteed appointments immediately. And it's simple enough that any of you can do it right now. But the real secret to the program is that we personally mentor and coach you. I want to help you directly. I want to make sure that you start getting listings. And if there is one problem, it's that you get too many appointments and you start to just start playing the numbers game, which now I'm convinced that if you just go on enough appointments, you'll get a listing anyway. Because it is possible for any of you to start getting a listing this week and change the direction of your summer and save your business ultimately. So understand that this is one of the best trainings that I do. Um, I enjoy doing this. Um, this webinar is gonna show you how monster marketing works and how I get around all the market conditions. I'm currently working on my next book. It's called The Four Immutable Laws of Real Estate Marketing. I know that there's another book about immutable laws, but there are only four laws in my universe to marketing in general. Law number one, everything needs to be step-by-step -step and easy. I'm not going to do anything unless it is step-by-step -step and easy. That's just me, okay? Law number two, um, work smart, not hard. A man I'd like to call mentor and friend Tim Ferriss wrote the uh, four-hour work week, right? It's a book we've all purchased, and it's a principle that we all want to apply in our day-to-day -day life. Well, the reality of working smart and not hard is about not fighting with other agents like rabid animals over one loose listing. I know this from my own personal neighborhood, right? We had a, a house go for sale next door, two doors down, uh, and this place was canvassed for a month by real estate agents during the day. Like during the day, I'm the only one here. It's because I work from home. Like I just find it amazing to see them out and knocking and dropping off magnets and door hangers and I just sat here and watched it all as they all came by uh, 